Hello and welcome to Hollywood Headlines. I'm your host Brooke and tonight we are going to be talking about the latest news in Hollywood, starting with Taylor Swift's new tour. Hollywood Headlines starts right now. Before we get into the show, I just wanted to take a moment to thank Katie for being today's guest. Taylor Swift announced on social media this week that she will be embarking on the Eras Tour starting in 2023. This comes just days after she was on The Tonight Show where she rumored about going on tour again after a four-year hiatus. This also comes days after a majority of her songs from Midnight's albums made it to the top 10 spots on the Billboard Hot 100. For her Eras tour, she will be performing music and her entire catalog, making it the first tour of hers not to be dedicated to a specific album. She will be completing a whopping 27 shows in the U.S. with a potential international tour beginning in 2024. She will be coming to cities across America, including Philadelphia, with supporting acts from Gail and Phoebe Bridgers, who is known for her hit song, Coyote, Katie. Are you planning on going to see her? Um, no, I'm not planning to go see her. <laughs> I'm sorry, I do like Taylor Swift, but I just, um, I don't think I love her that much to spend okay. money to go see her. I'm sorry, that's terrible. No, but. I understand that it's not everybody's cup of tea. I just don't got, I don't have the money to go see oh, her too. I totally yeah. understand. <laughs> I was looking at the tickets and like the lower bowl, which is literally not even on the floor, were in the thousands. Yeah. And I was like. I know, I feel like if I went, <laughs> I would pay like $100 max and I would still Yeah, like, like nosebleeds were, yeah. <laughs> nosebleeds were like 450 Yeah, I, mm, I Which is kind of crazy because Harry isn't even that expensive. Well, you know, Taylor Swift is kind of an icon. No, I'm saying that Harry isn't yet, but I'm just saying that she's like she's really She's been around longer yeah, and yeah. she wasn't in a band. And I, she has like a lot more albums. To her, yeah. So. Um, do you think this will be her last tour? Mm, I don't think so. Me I feel either. like she's still growing. You yeah. Know, she's still evolving and she's just... She's in the middle of her career, but I feel like I she keeps restarting because like she yeah. goes from like different phases. So who knows? Yes, what her next like phase is. from reputation to like lover, which was like mm -hmm. reputation was like she was Bad baddie, <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah. and then like lover was like oh cute, and then now she then she had the two albums that were kind of sad. Yep. And then Midnight's is just completely different. Yeah. So I think that it'll be cool to see her perform all these different songs in the same concert. Mm -hmm. So yeah. When we come back from the break, we will be talking about Elon Musk. Hollywood Headlines will be right back. Lately, there has been many rumors about Elon Musk's plans for Twitter since he bought it out. It has been suggested that he's going to make significant cuts to Twitter's workforce. Musk also plans to revamp the popular app Vine. Musk yesterday tweeted a poll asking if he should bring back Vine, and 69.5% of 4 million responses said that they were all for it. On the other side, many are irritated and want to keep Vine's nostalgic factor and would not want it to come back to be ruined. Katie, how do you feel about Elon Musk's takeover of Twitter? Um, to be honest, I, I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't really use Twitter, so yeah. I don't really associate with it. So. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's big news for other people, but yeah. how do you feel about I it? Don't, I don't use Twitter that much, but when I do, it's usually like to go to the trending section to mm -hmm. see all the trending things that are happening right now. And I just feel like, I mean, people buy apps all the time. Yeah. Somebody bought TikTok a couple years back, nothing changed. Nope. And I mean, as far as I've seen so far, nothing has changed. Mm -hmm. So I don't know why everybody's so like upset about it. Yeah, Maybe I because he's like such like a, popular figure in other areas that's not Twitter, so they think it's weird that he's buying it. Mm -hmm. So I think that's weird that people are getting so upset about it, but... I know, there haven't been any major changes yeah, to it yet. But anyway. I do see some people getting upset about Vine, so do you want to bring Vine back? Do you think it'll be a good idea? Um, personally, I feel like Vine kind of had its moment. Mm -hmm. Like right now we have TikTok yeah. and I don't know. As like I, I didn't really grow up with Vine, yeah. but like I watched a couple of them. So, but I feel like TikTok is more our generation and I feel like yes. Vine had its time and you know, like there's I agree, I agree. Apps. I think it should stay in the past mm -hmm. just because I, 
I think it's like a really sweet spot for a bunch of people mm -hmm. that if they brought it back and like maybe ruined it, it'd be like really upsetting for people. Agreed. This Halloween, model and businesswoman Heidi Klum shocked the world by dressing up as a worm for her Halloween party in New York City. She is known for throwing elaborate parties every Halloween and wearing unique costumes over the years, including Fiona with her spouse dressing up as Shrek. Many people have mixed reviews about her worm costume, with many praising her fashion choice and others finding her costume gross and disgusting. Katie, how do you feel about her Halloween costume this year? I was terrified of it. <laughs> Were you really? <laughs> yeah, I didn't know about it until you told me. Yeah. And then you showed me the picture and I was, I, it was a jump scare for sure. That's. <laughs> yeah, this is actually like the first Halloween that I knew that she threw a Halloween party every year. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of weird, but I think because that her costume was so out there, that's why it got so much publicity. Yeah. Because it was so real looking. Mm -hmm. And she got on the floor and was yep. like rolling around <laughs> like that. a worm. I saw the pictures and I was just like, this. It was kind of disturbing, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, but. you definitely think she could have wore a better costume then. Yeah, but you know, she's a celebrity, so I guess it doesn't really matter what yeah. she wears. Yeah, and it's also crazy because I feel like you always see her in such like cool, like cute outfits on America's Got Talent, and then mm -hmm. I saw her in that and I was like, oh, that's Heidi Klum? I, know. I was like, it just is something that shocked me. It was me. surprising that she wanted that to be her Halloween costume over like the other options out there. Yeah, you is there I mean? any, any thoughts? Do you think that she'll be next year maybe? Do you have any thoughts? Um... Well, what are some popular couples' costumes? I don't... I mean, I feel like she's too out there to be wearing right. costumes that we wear. I, I can't make an opinion on what... I don't even know, like, I can't even think of something. If she did th something this extravagant, like, this year, I don't know what you she did You couldn't top it. Yeah. You don't know what she I don't even done. know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I think that it was really weird, but it was also kind of different. So, mm -hmm. definitely shocked a bunch of people. When we come back from the break, we will be playing some Taylor Swift trivia. Hollywood Headlines will be right back. Welcome back. As Taylor Swift will start her Eras Tour on March 18th, we are going to pl be playing some Taylor Swift trivia. Katie, I will be giving you four potential correct responses. You will only have 10 seconds to answer the prompt I give you. Katie, are you ready? I'm ready. Perfect. Here is the question. How many tours has Taylor Swift done throughout her career? Is it six, five, four, or three? Good luck, your time starts now. Wait, how much time do I have? 10 seconds. Oh, um, wait, what were the? One, six, five, four, three. <laughs> um, one, I'm gonna say two, C, three. four. Katie, do you think you were right? I think I was right. Okay. Well, the answer is five, oh. so you did not get it right. I was just one off. It was close. It's okay, you were close mm -hmm. as someone who doesn't even follow Taylor. Yeah, I'm not a huge Swifty, but oh. I do support her. I, I do, I swear. Okay. I'm sorry. I just had no. to I had to announce that. It's okay, we all have our different opinions. I really like her song You Belong With Me, okay? okay. Yeah, I think yeah. that's the best. I agree. <laughs> when we come back from the break, we will be take, talking about the third installment of the Creed movies. Hollywood headlines will be right back. Welcome back. The trailer was just released for Creed 3. This movie is the third extension in the Rocky franchise. This movie is directed and starring Michael B. Jordan. There is high controversy with Sylvester Stallone, the original Rocky, not appearing in this film. Katie, how do you think this movie will stack up to the previous franchise movies? Um, well, I've never seen the Creed movies, but I guess Sylvester Stallone, he was a, a Big part of it. Big part of it. Yeah. And I, I could see why the, like audience or the people could be mad about him not being in the new movie. Yeah, for sure. I feel like something that we might <laughs> relate to for our generation is whenever all the Diver Wimpy Kid movies came out and then in like the last one, they changed the character that played Roderick. Oh, and then everybody oh, was like, not that. my yeah. Roderick, not my Roderick. Yeah, yeah. So, I, didn't, I didn't watch that one either. Oh, oh me yeah. neither. Okay. <laughs> me neither. So maybe this will change a lot of fans. But we did We it. did watch the, uh, the trailer. Yes, we did. For Creed. And it, it looked really good. It looks interesting. I'm not like that kind of movie girl. Like I don't watch a lot no. of movies, especially like action movies. But that looks like, it looks interesting. But I would definitely want to watch the other two before I oh, watch yes, this Oh, yes, of course, you know of I mean? course. So do you think you're going to go see it then? Um, Probably not. But okay. you know, I can't, never say never. Maybe we'll go together and experience yeah. it together. <laughs> so you never grew up like watching Rocky or anything? Do you know if your parents have or anything? I think my dad likes Rocky, but yeah, I, I've I'm never sure really, my dad does too. I don't know. I just know that one scene where he like runs up the stairs and it's like to that one music. In Philly. Yeah. <laughs> Which is crazy that it's coming out with how Philly's sports are doing so good I right know. now. 
It's insane. I think it's. I think it's cool. a great time for this movie. Oh, to come it is. Out. I think it's a really good time too for this movie to come out, and I hope it does well, as well as the sports are doing right now. Yep. Because I think it'll just be something even more to watch to than add to the movie. Add to the movie. Yep. The popular rapper, also known as Takeoff, was shot and killed this week in Houston, Texas. Investigators say that the altercation occurred at the time of the shooting, but Takeoff was not the one who instigated it. Takeoff was probably known for being in the rap group Migos, who was known for songs including Motorsport and Stir Fry. Takeoff's music has influenced some of the most re-owned rappers we know of today, including Kendrick Lamar and Drake. Many, many celebrities took to social media to honor his legacy with Drake saying he brought light to every city he went to and performed at. Katie, were you a Takeoff fan? Again, not really, but I did know their song "Bad and Bougie." Yes, the whole Migos. Yes, group. such. A, I like. I like Migos. That's yeah, like one of the like. If I listen to ma rap music, I do listen to mm -hmm. Migos because I like their music. Um, granted, that's the only one I can remember right yeah. now. but it, it's a great song. It is a great and song. It's, it's a. It's sad that. He that it's so sad. I feel like almost every episode of Hollywood Headlines we've talked about a celebrity dying, and that is just so sad. It's been so many recently. Yeah, and it's just like. No, like no matter if we know him or not, yeah. it's just a huge impact on like the whole like Migos community and obviously his loss will... Oh yeah, of course. So it's obviously going to be a big effect on the music industry, don't you think? Of course. Yeah. Well, you know, Migos, I think it was three guys. Yeah. They just lost it was three or four, I think. Oh, was it four? I don't know. <laughs> it was around either. there. It was definitely more than two though. Yeah, but obviously it, his presence will be missed in their group and... I don't really know much about him, but I bet he made a huge impact on many people. So. Of course. I agree. I think anybody who is popular and has fans, they'll always leave a legacy. Of course. Well, that's all we have tonight, but make sure to come back for the latest news in Hollywood. A big thank you to Katie Lyle for coming to today's show. I'm Brooke Oft. Have a great weekend, Millersville.